Hello everyone and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge final hope and this is part number 20 I believe and we've just picked up exactly where we left off the house is a riot we've got a broken dishwasher what are you wearing Natasha what is that what is that I did not put that on you and why did you just get changed randomly into that hmm very strange, very strange. Anyway, so Nicole is part of the nerd group apparently. Now Natasha has called for a repairman. So, who knows, Mr. Repairman might be Mr. Hunkerman, hopefully. And we will hopefully see if we can try for a baby. As you know, we got absolutely rejected by what's his face. Where is he? I don't even know, I'm so angry at him. Jody. yeah, Jody. Oh, I think it's Harold that's here. Is it Harold? Oh, it is. It's Harold. Harold, your boys are just there. Literally just there, Harold. Just there. I can't believe we're coming round to winter again. What I'm quickly going to do, actually, because I'm conscious of the fact that I'm wasting time with these kids. Testing cheats enabled to Rue. And then we are going to... Oh, no, I don't need to do anything else. Yes. So let us click on this and see to rigor little Billy's age transition. So Billy's having his birthday. So unfortunately we can't use Harold again. Unfortunately, even though he's amazing around the house. And you know, he keeps coming back. So I'm sure there's more than one fixer upper person at his establishment of work. He must ask for Natasha's house, but I guess, would you not? <laughs> if you were a repairman and you knew that this crazy lady woohooed with everyone in town, would you not want to go there? Well, probably, probably. So, let's see, little Billy, little Billy. Oh, and there we are. Nicole is making herself a pizza. Okay, Billy, gonna, gonna age up, honey? Are you gonna drag this out? Nope. Excellent. Aw, cute. He looks like he's got Natasha's hair colour. Right, and what about Sawyer? Do you know what was really funny? I was watching um, Jen. I'd pre-recorded the last three episodes of this and we had Billy and we had Sawyer suggested by you guys. And I was watching Jen um, X Urban Sims and I can't remember what she was talking about. Uh, but she was talking about Lost anyway, and she was saying how she absolutely loved the character Sawyer. And I was like, oh, that's really quite funny. <laughs> I find it quite amusing since we have a Sawyer. I don't know. Is it funny or is it just me? Um, Justin Hatch was like to chat. Does Spencer? Sure, why not? Why not? Why not indeed? Spencer can chat to Justin all he likes. Right, come on, baby. Age up. Let's do this. Do so floor oh no hair glitch hair glitch demon baby with a hair glitch no 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 let we we have to change that we have to change <laughs> let's get into create a sim and get rid of that because that hair glitch freaks me out it's bad enough on a child but on a toddler it looks horrendous I don't even know about me having a glitched hairstyle I, I don't I don't get it I, I really don't. So does that take the hair of death away? Yes, it does. Good. Look at his eyes. He's adorable. Oh, I think him and his brother are identical. I have suspicions. And I don't know if you can hear, but Indy is outside with his little toy, like, going crazy with it. It's like a fake mouse and he's hitting it against the door because he knows that I'm in here and he wants to be in here and he can't be in here because if Indy was climbing in here he'd be climbing all over me. So <laughs> there you are little Sawyer and I think that him and Billy are the same. I'm pretty convinced. I'm using my spidey senses to say that they are pretty much the same child. And where did you go to? Oh, Billy likes the TV. Fair enough. Oh no, I think he's got different colour eyes. Let's go and have a look. This is really loud in my ear. I'm going to turn it down a bit. 
<clears throat> so how are we all today guys? Yes, he is exactly the same but his peepers are blue. So I'm actually going to keep him pretty much the same because I've not got any of them as identical. So I'm going to keep him the same and I know I normally do makeovers off camera but the toddlers are just so easy just to like fire some things on there. And I know I didn't do all of these, I just forgot. I just realised I've not done all of them but how cute are they? Totally got their mum's bone structure, cheeks. They're adorable. Love them. Love them, love them. I also am a bit gutted. Guys, I'm a bit gutted. I got a... I got a order from the catalogue and it ordered all these cute clothes and I thought they were super cute but when they came they, they didn't look super cute, they, they're pretty horrific. So I'm gutted because I was like oh I can't wait till these come because these look awesome and then when I tried them on they looked like I'd got them from somebody's dustbin, they just were not cute, not cute. So I'm a bit gutted, however I did get a phone case that I like. And it's got Queen Bee in the back of it with a crown and a bee. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Chris thinks it's tacky, but I think it's cute, so stuff him. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off topic here. This is about the 100 Baby Challenge. Right, Natasha, is there anybody that you could phone for a booty call? I don't think Jodie was feeling as well. We try him again because you're a romantic interest. So let's, let's try him again. The problem is, oh, what's happening here? Oh, it's Emmy's birthday! I should really keep note of when their birthdays are because I always sound so surprised. Like, it's Emmy's birthday. I think Molly's aging up today as well, so we're going to get her out of here. Oh, in different study habits. <laughs> There's a surprise. <laughs> Good sense of humour. Okay, well, everyone likes a giggle. Everyone likes a giggle. And what does Emmy look like? Oh, Emmy is pretty. Oh, look at her eyes. Oh, we'll need to have a proper good look at her in Create a Sim. Is that all our birthdays or is... Oh, Miss Molly's doing it as well, isn't she? Yes, little Miss Molly. Miss Molly that we can... Oh my goodness. So much aging up. So much aging up. Right, come on Molly. Age up. It's... Oh, this is Alberto. Yes. Yes, I'll come over. Yes, we need it. We need it. Don't even know who Alberto Fogel is. We've not used him, have we? I don't think we have. I've just got a really loud ringing in my ear. It's really random. Okay, Molly, because of her success in school, you may choose a trait. <laughs> Alright, she's absent minded, a social butterfly, athletic diva, and irresistible. <laughs> okay, there she goes, and that is some outfit. That is some outfit. Let's nip into Create a Sim and see what she looks like. Since I'm curious, we'll put what will make her an acrobat. Why not? <laughs> Master controller. Editing create a sim. Alrighty, and here is little Miss Molly and give her our due, guys. She's a pretty sim. <laughs> she's a pain in the bahookie, but give her our due, she's a pretty sim. So let's see what here we can whack on her because let's face it, it doesn't matter because she's out of here. Yeah, I am I'm getting rid of her because she's she's done oh look at her eyes though. See, if she wasn't such a pain in the bum, she would have been a really good one to carry on with the challenge. Right, what can we put on her? I don't really know why I'm bothering too much because we'll really not see her after this. What about this? This is a kind of diva-esque hairstyle, isn't it? Yes. Yes, she looks like a diva. Will we make her a... Mm, no, I think I like her dark hair. Alrighty, going to do her makeover and I will be back to you in a second. Alrighty, and here is little Miss Molly, and I put uh, probably zero effort into that because we are kicking her out. I don't think a sim has ever really annoyed me as much as Miss Diva Molly has, which is such a shame because I love the name Molly, and it would have been so nice to actually like the sim that we'd called Molly. <laughs> <laughs> so where is Emmy? Because we have to make a bigger effort with her 
because we have to look at her for longer. So, Emmy, my sweet, let's have a look at you, shall we? Our eyes kind of make her look a bit jaundice. Let's see if she looks jaundice up close. And by jaundice, I mean jaundice. Oh no, she's pretty. Have a look. Um, she's kind of like lion eyes, isn't it? It's kind of like Indy's eyes, actually. You're a tiger, baby. Right. She's pretty. Her mouth is a little bit duck-like, but she's very pretty. Very, very pretty. So let's see what here we can put on her. She's got an updo hairstyle right now, so why don't we put an updo on her? Oh, how nice is that? That is my favourite in-game hairstyle, that hairstyle, I think. Po quite possibly, that's my favourite. What's her favourite colour? Her favourite co Oh, that's right, I didn't give her a trait, remember? And I can't roll a trait for her. Oh, that's quite annoying. And um, we'll just go for... I know that I can't, if I roll it, it takes all of these away, so we'll just go for a uh, stop. Shy, okay. Oh, what? Right, well, why did that not work? Uh, shy. Yeah, we'll go for that. Right, what's your favourite colour, baby cakes? It's purple, okay. Right, I'm going to do her makeover and I'll be back to you in a tick. And here is Amy. So, yes, that I changed her hair because I don't know, I wasn't feeling the bow. The bow didn't really go with any of the clothes, so it's kind of looking a bit silly in a way. So, we went for that, and I think it's a super cute cut on her. Right, so, 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 what can we do actually? Wait, do, do you not have a date, Natasha? Oh, Molly, now you want to be friends. Now you want to be friends. Well, I'm sorry, princess, but you are getting a kicked out. Real estate, move within this neighbourhood. Now, once they leave the the house, what happens is they get kicked out and they go to a sorting place where they are assessed by their traits, by their genetics and decide it's decided whether they will continue on the project or whether they'll have a project of their own or whether they'll be moved to a compound where they don't need to reproduce. So, kick out. Or, sorry, they're not suitable to reproduce. Okay, Miss Molly, I'd love to say it was a pleasure, but no, it was a chore. So you can get your diva-esque buttocks out of my house. And you're lucky I'm even giving you 240 simoleons to go. So, yes. There are no unoccupied residential lots in town. Do you wish to render the family homeless? Um, well, yes. <laughs> what? Why is that taking our family away? Or am I freaking out over nothing? I better be freaking out over... Thank the Lord. Okay, Molly, goodbye. Nice to see you, to see you nice. And just if in case anyone needs a reminder, we currently have 15 children. Yes, we do. 15 childrens. Right. So. Oh, it's the University Llama. So can we get it on with the llama? Is the llama a man? Yes. Hello, Lloyd. Fancy meeting you here. Let's invite you inside. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome one, welcome all. Although in saying that, I'm a romantic interest with the other guy, but then he didn't turn up. Oh, friends right away. I love this charismaticness that she has. He's childish, athletic. Right, let's in, I want to have a baby with What's-His-Face. I don't really want to have a baby with a llama. Let's invite him over. It's a bit late. It's a bit late. Do you think he'll come over? Probably not. He'll probably tell her where to go. But we can try. Yes, maybe. Oh, he said he will. Wonderful. Okay, so let's just have a chat. Friendly. Uh, show my funny video. Why not? Right, have we got crying kids? What's What's happening? Who's crying? Are you crying? Okay. Portia. Portia, Portia. Are you feeding him or what, darling? Feed on the floor. Alright. So what's happening? I want 
I want, I, oh, what's that over here? Well, look, guys, we've got loads of stuff here. Stop right now. She's going to end up going, and he's going to end up, like, coming. Oh, there's a car. Is it the mascots? No, well, you don't sleep there. If you're tired, go and sleep in Natasha's bed. Oh, oh, oh. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, no. What, what, what? What's going on with the llama? Oh, Jodie. Jodie, Jodie, Jodie. Alluring greet. Although Jodie is a bit of a pain in the butt, but we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Come on. Even though you're wearing a ridiculous outfit for some reason, let's just go for it. And let's invite him inside. As your body boo boo. And you can ask the llama to leave. Why not? Okay, 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 okay. So come in. So much crying. Go here. So let's get him in the bedroom and lock him in. And then he has no choice but to reproduce. Right. So let us pause. Jodie. No, Jodie, come on, Jodie. Do I have to pick you up? Like, seriously. Ask to leave, ask it on date, ask everyone to leave. No. Can we friendly call them over? Compliment is that. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong person. Oh, shoot. It's you I want to call over. Okay, stop doing that with a laptop. Okay, I'm going to have to make out with them. Okay, I know, right, this is creepy. Lock to everybody. <laughs> Lock to everybody. So he's going nowhere. I'm sorry, Jodie, but you came over. You are staying here till you do what you do, and that's it. Stop playing with the laptop. That's not the way this worked. Where is our laptops? Oh my god, did Molly go away with a laptop? Oh my god, please tell me she did not go away with a laptop. Right, so he's flirting with us. We need to play this really, you know, smooth with him. I'm gonna hug him. Will he do that? So awkward with the kids. The kids must be like, Mum, again? Really? Let's flirt some more. And let's uh, first kiss him and see if that works. See if it works. Oh, oh, oh! It worked. Oh, and he's a great kisser. Try for a baby. Try for a freaking baby. Go for it. At last. Thank God. I needed you about six hours ago when I had the procreation Alexa. Look at this llama. Look. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Are they going to like stand and cheer them on? Where are you going? No. No. Oh my goodness. I forgot to do the bedtime story thing. Oh lord. Some of you guys had sent me the bedtime story uh, mod so that they don't ask for bedtime stories all the time. And I forgot to install it. Aren't I just awesome? Aren't I just awesome? They better not go into that bed. If they go into that bed, I will actually freak out. No, he's not going to give you a bedtime story. For the love of peep, he's not. Because mummy needs the bedroom. Mummy needs it. Yes, she does. Right. Pause. Walls up. And play. Once the door shuts, he's all mine. Locked everybody. I'm such... A stalker. Okay. Multiple. Oh, my, my, my. Right, let's do this. Multiple. Multiple. He better give me a multiple. I want, look at that body. Okay, listen for the jingle. Listen for the jingle. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Hunk, Mr. Hunky Spunk there gave us the jingle, so I am quite happy. However, I'm really sorry. Oh no, we're frozen. Oh 
my lord, it's because it's three o'clock in the morning and it's lag spike and that's never good for the sims. Come on. Please don't, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Yay, no break. Okay, so. Mean. Asked to just be friends. Thank you. Look at him, my lord. God was good. God was good. So away you go back to your wife, you cheating ho. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Good night. Sleep. Okay, so let's uh, let's allow him out the door. Why don't we? So unlock. We will unlock. And we will unlock. Alright, so everyone can get out now. So I think what I'll do is I will fast forward. Someone's stuck. At last, Cole's back to his old self. Excellent. So what I think on that note, look at this house. Where is Spencer? Oh my god, he's getting asked to read about 50 bedtime stories. Yeah, I think what I'll do, once I've recorded this part, I'm going to go and install the mod. For sure, because this is just crazy. This is just crazy. Don't ask the random man. Okay, ask the random man if you like. We have the sensible ones in the household. We have Emmy. We have Emmy here who's sleeping. She's sensible. Who's not sensible? Audrey, what are you doing? You're super tired. Oh, yeah, just walk through bunk beds. That makes. Why are you in your swimwear? Cool. Cool, that makes no sense. What does he want to do? React to noisy sim. <laughs> okay, well let, let's not. Let's just go. Is that is he a light sleeper? Yes he is. Okay, that'll be why. Go and use the toilet. Oh my goodness. Llama. Perv. That's our kids. You weirdo. You shouldn't be near them. Call the special police on you. Men in suits. Get out. Leave. Ask to leave. Get out. Get out. Thank you. I appreciate it, but it doesn't seem like he is actually leaving. Spencer, you're super tired. Just tell Audrey to get her butt in bed and read her own bedtime story. And where is your bed? <laughs> Everyone seems to want to sleep in the boys room that seems to be the most popular room look audrey you need to learn to stand on your own two feet right learn to get yourself to sleep like we all had to do right nicholas he's a light sleeper as well oh for the love of god light sleepers galore in this house where are you going see if you're asking somebody for a bedtime story i will actually scream Oh, Spencer. Right, just sleep there then. Sleep in Nicholas's bed. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to cut back in the morning because I think all we're going to hear is them shouting like mad. I assign them beds, so I don't know what is wrong with their wee faces, but hey-ho. So I will talk to you in the morning. Alrighty, guys, so we've picked up in the morning and I'm going to get our little Nicole to actually clean the house because she is neat she can do that which is freaking awesome now Natasha has just got up and it looks like she's going to head to get some leftover cheesy bread what's happening here girls what's what's the problem doorway problems doorway problems most of the kids are still asleep cole what are you doing he's going out to recycle spencer is still sleeping what i'm going to do is get cole to start working on billy's talking so if we can do that and emmy if you could actually start working on sawyer's talking that would be great because the kids are in a good mood so why not start them on the what are you wearing, Cole? <laughs> really? What are you wearing? That's it, Natasha. Get yourself something to eat, my darling. Make sure that this is kids' music, which it wasn't. And make sure that it's loud. It is. Just need to make sure that all of these... Why are they pop? I think it's because when you reset, it goes to pop. 
and I don't know, this must be in the kids channels because all the kids do go to it. Oh no, she's feeling sick. Okay, run, get a run. Okay, what could we do? So Portia, can you come, not take the painting, I want to sell the painting. Hmm, very, very strange. I'm waiting on Finn and hope to get the little butts up and Spencer as well, he should be getting up. Can you get up? Good man, because you've got some work to do. I need you to come down. Dana, no, no, no more children than what we have need to be in this dank house. Okay, come down and eat. That would be great. And what are you doing now? Okay, so her needs are quite good. So come and watch TV. Why are you wearing this outfit? I don't understand the need for this outfit. It makes no sense to me, Natasha. Change to kid zone. Right, I'm sorry, it's really bugging me. <laughs> I need to go in. Let's see actually if I hit change outfit what it does. Change outfit. See, look there, it's there. Is it because it's cold? Hmm. Weird. See, that outfit isn't even there. That's very, very, very bizarre. Okay. I know it is cool, so we'll go in and we'll give you a little bit of a makeover in the next part, I think, for sure. Okay. We've only got a few minutes left in this part. And what are you up to, darling? You're going to go... Oh, why don't you go and attend your free game? Yes. Good idea. You can do that. Any other kids with that opportunity? I'm pretty sure I had more than one kid with that opportunity. Yeah, he's away. Okay, so our little Finn, who is adorable, he is going to go and do that. I can't believe that Nicole has got the neat tree. It's just awesome. I mean, she's going and doing all that, which is just brilliant. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so what are you doing? Nicholas, are you ever going to get out of bed? Like, come on. Up we get. I know that these are, you know, lazy bones and whatnot, but, you know, there's time and then there's time. And we're going to get you, what are you doing? You're using the dishwasher, good stuff. So I want you to serve some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. She wants to become BFFs with Nicole. How adorable is that? Okay, Spencer, I need you to go up here and start mixing some elixirs. Because I think he does have some honey left, he does. We've got a whole bunch of elixirs that we need to consign as well. So, all is good in this here hood. No, we're not going to go and play tag. No, 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 no. What could you do, actually? I, do, I want to keep you around. You have got some decent skills, so we could work on your skills, actually. So, cooking. Spencer, why don't you give your sister your multi-tab right now? And then she can listen to the cooking tab cast because what I'm thinking is I'd quite like to keep her around so because she's neat so she can do all the housework and if she can cook then that's even that's even better but then Portia would miss her oh I don't know it's a, it's a really it's a tough one it is a tough one did you make the stuff what what happened to actually making what happened to making peanut butter and jelly What's what's the problem? Don't tell me this fridge is glitched again. No, that's okay then. Because this fridge has been getting glitched and then, oh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Look at Natasha sitting there like a Game of Thrones reject. Flask of Angry Bees, yep. It's like, you know, she's got a Game of Thrones piece from eBay for like two pounds or something. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm weird. Oh my goodness! Justin Hatch and Sophia Reagan have stated their intentions to get married. <gasps> oh my goodness! How does that work? Wow! Witnesses remarked that the proposal was a tearjerker, with plenty of applause from the crowd afterwards. We had our eye on Justin. That's just wrong. <laughs> Right, okay, so what can we do here then? So, it looks like everything is going well with the boys. Look at this. Look at this. And how he's feeling, boys. You kind of need the toilet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Oh, oh, 
Oh, we're getting all... Okay, I want you to come over here then and plot it, train. What one do you have? You have got Billy. Okay, so I want you to potty train Billy. Because he needs to pee, so you may as well potty train him. Because he needs it. So go ahead and do that for me. And Emmy, if you want to do the same with Soya. Emmy had already potty trained Billy a little bit, so that's why that is as it is. Why have I not got... Where is her chest of drawers and things? Oh, I did delete some CC, but I didn't think I deleted that. Oh, that, that kind of sucks. Okay, so if you're finished with that, sweetheart, I want you to go and consign everything. So we could just go and visit Fizzy Pots. That'd be, that'd be awesome. I'd really, really appreciate that. And how are you getting on with the... The potty chain and Sawyer. Okay, well you're you're not, are you? You're just ignoring my my suggestion to you, yes? Is there anything else missing? I don't think there is. I think it's just just that. And why can't we sell this painting? I mean it is a nice painting, so I suppose we could just put it there. Are you gonna be sick again, missies? Oh looks like she is. Run, rabbit, run. Right, and we'll just get him to go and consign these things. I love Spencer. I can't believe he's going to be an adult soon. Well, not really soon. It's 10 days away, Laura, but 10 days in the Sims world is soon, isn't it? I mean, we must. <coughs> All right, so I did take a bit of a coffin fit there. I'm definitely a state. <laughs> Let's buy. Let's buy. Come on. Oh, check out this dude in his pirate hat. Hello, Greg House. No, Greg Cross. And Jodie's here. Jodie, why, what are you doing here, honey? With your fine self, your fine bodiness. What are you doing here? Mm-hmm. Okay, consign. Let's consign the honey. All the honey. Oh, no, I don't want to consign the honey. Wrong, Laura. I want to consign all the bees. Oh, no. It's the duck of doom, guys. It's the duck of doom. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. If you don't know what the duck of doom is, if this is the first video that you're seeing from me, the duck of doom is my alarm that I set to tell me that I have spoke for far too long in here. <laughs> I don't know why my... um. I have no idea why it doesn't ever give me the actual elixir, but just the the book, you know, whereas April has the potion already made up. Sad times. Okay, guys, so I guess that's it. How quick was that? So that is it. I'm going to go and download the mod that you guys suggested for the No More Bedtime Stories, and hopefully it doesn't affect my game in any way. That would solve a nice thing if it doesn't, so <laughs> I shall talk to you in the very next part. Bye, guys.